Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick little UI comparison here with iOS 7.1. Find out how does it look on all these iPhones, how is it different? Uh, so uh, right off the bat, I can already say here that uh, this version here of iOS uh, definitely looks pretty much similar here on the 4S, the iPhone 5 and the 5S. But if we go down to the iPhone 4, it's going to look a little bit different. So if we take a look at different elements like the control center, uh, we just pull this up right here. Um, we can see that on all these three devices, the 5S, 5, 4S, uh, you have a kind of cool blur effect. Uh, on the iPhone 5 um, you or on the iPhone 4, you can actually see through here a little bit. Uh, and it looks a little bit grayish, uh, not as cool. I would personally not uh, enjoy it that much. Uh, other than that, I mean, the buttons and everything is the same. Uh, if we would take a look at it from uh, uh, the keyboard here that you do get, uh, you can also see that it looks very, very identical on these three, uh, but uh, way more darker keyboard here uh, on the iPhone 4. And uh, if we would bring down uh, this little area here, uh, you can once again here see that it's darker on the on the iPhone 4. And then of course you don't get any Siri uh, on the on the iPhone 4, but you can get it on the 4s, 5 and the 5s. So what's up? You can also see here, you're also getting that kind of background and uh, that some people might enjoy a little bit. And of course, Siri has been updated a little bit. Uh, in terms of UI elements, you can see that it's the same here uh, in like things like the dialer where it, it features this new kind of design here, which is a little bit more rounded off which could also be interesting to know. Okay. Let's just um, bring that out. Of course, you don't have any live wallpapers as well on the iPhone uh, 4. So no cool things like that. Choose new wallpaper, choose new wallpaper choose new wallpaper so you can see only on the iPhone 4 you have only stills but on these three you do get some more uh, interesting additions here uh, and then there's another little thing here when you select the picture uh, you have a perspective zoom on here uh, on these newer iPhones which you can see you don't get that thing here on the iPhone 4. So that basically means that you can move this around and the background is moving and everything. So pretty, pretty interesting stuff. So I wanted to make this quick little UI look here. Uh, still pretty impressive here that the iPhone 4 could run it. Uh, and as I said, it's gonna be, the experience is gonna be kind of the same on these three, you, just a little bit different here on the single core device here. These all three dual cores and a little bit more new and fresh. Peace out.